Hey, good morning. Good morning, everyone. I am at a rest stop on the Florida Turnpike, halfway to Orlando from my house. And good morning, everyone. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And everyone, please like the video, too. That helps a lot. So I bought the other day the Kindle edition of Miranda Devine's book on Hunter Biden. And then I have this drive that's about two and a half, three hours each way that I'm taking today. So I got on Audible Miranda Devine's book. And I'm a little more than an hour into it. Oh my goodness. Hunter Biden, his life and his dad are worse than I even imagined. I, I really, I mean, I'm in shock when I, you know, I've never read these Fifty Shades of Grey book series that all the women were into a few years ago, but I imagine it's like the Miranda Devine book, Laptop from Hell. And here, you know, here's the, the book, you guys, you can read it if you want. I like the uh, audio book edition because there's a guy reading it and it, you know, I'm driving, but I can't read while I'm driving, but it's. Maybe it's a little more interesting to actually hear it. If I was reading it, I don't know if I would. It's just sh so shocking. So um, what the book is about is its detail. It's not a. Um, it's not so much about the laptop, which is what I was kind of expecting. It is the contents of the laptop that. Are detailed in the book and Hunter Biden and Joe are just, like for example there's um he went on this bender at this big Hollywood hotel where all the celebrities have been going you know for 80 90 years for their sex and drug benders you know and there's uh, a lot of things in this book like that, that are unrelated to but about this sleazy hotel but um, Hunter had a prostitute come to the hotel. Now, this part I had heard about. Well, this wasn't his only prostitute, but this one prostitute in particular. And she stayed there with him for a few days, and she wouldn't leave because he had not paid her the $8,000. And he put through uh, charge after charge on this credit card it wouldn't go through, that credit card it wouldn't go through tried several credit cards and then eventually Hunter found a credit card where he could pay her the $8,000. Well then uh, the next morning all those charges that didn't go through went through. So it was about $25,000 on various credit cards that Hunter had sent to this prostitute's bank account in Los Angeles. And now that part I'd heard before when the laptop story came out. The next part, I had not heard before. Two retired high-level Secret Service agents. One was a Secret Service director who was the head of Biden's personal detail when he was vice president, and another Secret Service agent show up at the hotel um, unannounced to Hunter. They knew he was there. They went to the hotel to get him. They were in a panic. And they text Hunter Biden, come down to the lobby right now. And he texts them back, I'll be there in five minutes. He doesn't come. They keep texting him, come on down, come on down. And he's like, I'll be there in a few minutes. And then they, te these are the, these are, now again, one of these Secret Service agents, they're both retired. One of them was former director of the Secret Service and the head of Biden's security detail when he was vice president. The other one was on his detail too, and high up. So these are very senior retired Secret Service agents. They text Hunter again and say, if you don't call the desk and tell them to give us a key, we're going to assume you're in danger and we're going to make them give us a key. So then the next, and this is all inside the laptop. And then the next, um, the next thing is the next text, because all the texts, you know, are on your, on your Macs, you know, what you do on your phones connected to your Mac. And, um, the next text to Hunter from the Secret Service agents are, we're at your door, open the door right now. And one of the cards that he had paid this prostitute with, uh, Joe, it's Joe's credit card that Hunter is also on. So Joe Biden paid a prostitute uh, many thousands of dollars on this card. So boom, that's, that's one of the stories. Then there's another exchange 
Um, I mean, this book, it just goes on and on, and Joe is very much involved. Um, all these text messages that are on these on the laptop, it's amazing. You guys should definitely get this book. I'm, a, I'm about, it's actually about six hours. The audiobook is about six hours, and I'm about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes in. And uh, I know I pulled over because I really need a break from I was like, oh my goodness. It's, uh, there was another incident. So um, he had um, just pissed away hundreds of thousands of dollars on drugs and hookers and strippers in, um, in Los Angeles. And he's getting, he's getting messages constantly from his uncle, Joe's brother. Who once, uh, who's who's text messaging him for his eighty-five thousand monthly consulting fee, eighty-five what eighty-five thousand dollar a month consulting fee. Uh, they had, so he t so uh, he uh, contacts uh, Wells Fargo and has them send him ninety-nine thousand dollars. I don't know why ninety-nine and not a hundred, but he had you know it was it's very, and he kept the uh, the uncle Joe's brother kept bothering him for this over and over and over again. Uh, for his $85,000 monthly consulting fee that he was panicked about. Very strange. So Joe brings him back to D.C. And this is all detailed in the lap. Now keep in mind, the, 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 this Miranda Divine book is, um, it just walks you through, almost like in a transcript, the, the information that was found on the laptop. So it's not someone writing about the laptop or how it got there or anything else. It's just like a transcript of the emails and text messages and videos that were on the laptop. And it is, I mean, it's insane, this book. Um, so after this incident in Los Angeles, uh, Joe brings him to D.C. to get him um, straightened up. Well, then he has a problem. Then he has a run-in with an owner of a strip club in D.C., which is a, a few blocks from the White House, apparently. And the problem is, is that, um, uh, and he's, they say he's very well known in the VIP room, Big Tipper. He, um, Hunter has this uh, very long, oh, and by the way, the hooker that he sent the, the 20 some thousand dollars to, there's a week long of text messages of them going back and forth. I mean, it's very dramatic, this book. But anyway, so then he has um, a text message battle with the owner of this strip bar, the strip club in DC, a few blocks from the White House. And the problem is he was in the VIP room with this stripper and he had an $8,000 Gucci bomber jacket. And he let the stripper wear it and he didn't get it back from her. And she left with his $8,000 uh, Gucci bomber jacket, which he's in a panic about. And I don't know if, if there was something in the jacket pockets or if it was just the jacket itself. And uh, he has this exchange back and forth for days and days with the owner of this strip club, like fighting with him to get him his Gucci bomber jacket back from this stripper. And the guy, the owner of the strip club tells him, well, she, she went back to Europe. You know, and I, I guess she took the jacket with her. And then Hunter tells, well, you said she was a good friend of yours and invited her to our party, so if she's your good friend, you should be able to get a hold of her in Europe. And um, the strip club owner says, listen, you gave her the jacket, you didn't give it back. Whose fault is it? This is when he was in Washington. Now, now th listen to this. So he's in Washington. He's in Washington because Joe's brought him to D.C. to clean him up. And he gets contacted by a, um, a federal judge. And um, now this is, you know, uh, uh, unbelievable. So he, he gets contacted by a federal judge who wants to secure an appointment from Joe when he's president to appoint him to the D.C. federal bench. And there's, a, there's an exchange between there's email exchanges between Hunter and this federal judge who wants a federal appointment to a higher court in DC. I can't believe. And then there's exchange after this this federal judge is uh, emailing Hunter to get uh, uh, his dad Joe to appoint him to this higher bench in DC. There's exchange. Uh, uh, Hunter sends a few emails uh, to um, 
uh, Joe about it, and Biden writes him back. They call him Johnny or whatever. His, they just use the first name. Um, they um, have an exchange about giving this guy a post, and Hunter is involved in many email exchanges with his dad on on um, uh, Biden's private emails, uh, and this is all on the laptop um, about appointments. And and Hunter says, don't don't make any um, uh, promises on jobs and appointments until we talk. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, I'm just scratching the surface. There's so much. Um, there's so much going on, and uh, it's just. It's sick. It's sick. And um, it's just insane. It's just insane. And that, that's just scratching the surface. Yeah, you guys should definitely... I'm enjoying the, um, the audiobook. I have, you know, I have an Audible subscription, you know? So I get like a book a month as, as part of this subscription. And uh, that's what I use my subscription on. And it is uh, well worth... Uh, the time it's I mean I uh, they're worse than I thought really I you know it, and, it, and it also really has me thinking how, how checked out really is Joe is 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 the dementia thing a cover you know good morning everyone uh, why do you, well I he's he he hates his dad I mean that's that's obvious he hates his his father um, you know, and he's he's never had a, a good relationship with his father, and um, you know, I mean, it, it starts right in the beginning. This is in the book too. Little little uh, in the introduction, um, Joe was elected to the Senate for the first time, like immediately after or right around the time that his first wife died in that car accident. Now, what I did not know was that Bo and Hunter were in the car and sustained injuries and were hospitalized um, from the car accident where Biden's first wife was tragically killed. And Bo had a broken leg and Bo had head injuries and they were in the hospital. And Joe um, went to the hospital and in the hospital room had his had himself sworn in to the Senate and he left. He left Hunter in the hospital with a broken leg. He left, I'm, I'm sorry, Bo in the hospital with a broken leg and Hunter in the hospital with head injuries and had their aunt take care of them while he went to Washington. I mean, my goodness. Oh, yeah, Hunter um, was, um, uh, you know, these sex videos of his, apparently he, had, he was uploading them to uh, Pornhub, some of his videos. He has, like, has a Pornhub account and he would upload some of his sex videos to them. This is in the book, all from his laptop. It's it's insane, and he's doing it. It, it details his um, uh, affair with his sister-in-law. He he says his sister-in-law seduced him. It's just um, terrible, terrible. Um, and there's a, there's a lot. And again, the, the the book. It's really interesting what Miranda Devine has done with this book because it's it's not editorializing or anything it's just it, it's almost raw of what was found on the laptop and it is shocking the daylights out of me i really am just blown away at how bad it is insane now yeah. now yeah. you know the uh, joe is involved in everything and it's interesting because there's so much talk about who is really running things and th this book so far it, it's Joe it's Joe because Hunter's always talking directly to him and he's always emailing him back Joe um, they're short and sweet because they talk in code because they don't want to incriminate themselves you know through email too much but um, um, he's not he, he's not um, messaging um, uh, his stepmother, Dr. Biden. He's not uh, sending any, any staffers. It's always directly to his dad. So um, I think this dementia thing is total BS. I think it's a cover. Remember that, that mafia boss back in the 90s in New York? He would walk around in his pajamas to avoid an indictment in New York City. Remember that? can't remember which uh, mafia boss. I don't remember his name. 
But that's, I think that's what, what uh, uh, Biden's doing. It's, and, it, and it's amazing how um, uh, Hunter is number two in the family. It's Joe and then Hunter. And everyone has to go to Hunter to get paid. And, I, and I've just scratched the surface of what I've gone through in the first hour, hour and ten minutes of the book. But I, I would suggest you get the audio book. If you've pre-ordered, cancel the pre-order because it's, it's going to take like weeks to get and get the audio book. Um, you know, I got an Audible subscription. They're not a sponsor. No sponsorships with Audible, although maybe I should. But um, I've, got a, I've got like the whatever the cheapest Audible subscription is and um, I get like a free book a month. That's what I got this month. And I, I use it when I have my long car drives to Orlando like I'm doing today. And um, it's 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 really bad. It's really bad. Really bad. I mean, I I, I mean, we all knew uh, Joe was bad. We all knew Hunter had problems, but not this bad. You know, he got it just now. Yeah, yeah. And Audible is no uh, no sponsor of mine or anything. However, my pillow is. So if you guys would like to support me, my channel, and my content, please go to mypillow.com, buy something. With the promo code Kane, K A N E, at checkout. Buy something for somebody on your Christmas list or uh, buy everything for Christmas on MyPillow. Remember, 50% off the three inch MyPillow mattress topper with the promo code Kane. That's a historically low price. I asked Mike Lindell's office to extend that through the holidays and they did it. So I was amazed. That was very nice of them. 50% off the MyPillow mattress topper. With the promo code Kane, just go to mypillow.com, click on the radio listener specials, and you'll see it there. And uh, make sure promo code Kane, K A N E. There's a lot of other deals there too, but that's a huge, huge deal. 50% off the three inch mattress topper. It will change your life. I promise you. Yeah, I am at um, the Fort Pierce rest stop on the Florida Turnpike heading north to Orlando, and I'm about halfway there, and uh, be there in about, I don't know, hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes after I end the stream, but uh, the, the book was getting, I didn't have to stop, because I, you know, I got three quarters of a tank of gas, I was going to do a live stream when I got to uh, my destination in Orlando, and the book is so heavy that I said, I got to pull over, I mean, I got to, I got to really wind down a little bit. Because this book is just filled with just, sh I mean, it, it, you know what what it's about? It's it's a true crime novel, it's a steamy sex novel, um, but what what makes it insane? What makes it insane? Where like I had to pull off the road to cool off, is that these guys are running the United States right now and making very big decisions that affect all of our lives. And when when you go through Laptop from Hell by Miranda Devine, and I'm, I'm, I would re I'm seriously recommending the audiobook because I got the, um, I got the Kindle a couple days ago and I started reading it. And it's very a very good actual read-read, but listening to the audiobook, it's, uh, it's better. It's, it's, it's better. So, I, I mean, if you can. And, it, you know, Audible has like a cheap subscription. You get like a book a month. I don't know how much it is, but that's the one I got. And it's uh, it's very good. It's it's the whole book on Audible is a little over six hours. So I'll probably have it about done by the time I get home late tonight. Um, but oof, it's scary to me. The, it, it's really the book is frightening to me because they're running America, you know, and that's freaking scary. That's freaking scary because with the with the with the laptop shows is that Joe does everything he does for financial gain for himself and his family. Okay, so, and what's the Biden business is trading favors for money, you know, and that's it, the mo most corrupt man to ever be. The pre and it makes me physically ill too because President Trump is the most honest man to ever become president. I'm going back to George Washington. I give an example, okay? And I, I love General Washington. Don't misunderstand me. But George Washington was a Virginian, right? You think it's just a coincidence that um, the capital of the United States 
was just uh, a short distance down the river from George Washington's estate, Mount Vernon? Of course not. Of course not. You know, that's political corruption. Of everywhere to put the capital. The, the place for the capital should, should have been our original capital, which was New York City, if you look at the center of things, right? That's political corruption on behalf of, yeah, George Washington. Abraham Lincoln, great man. I love Abraham Lincoln. Everyone, he's, he's almost a saintly person. Um, he was a rail, he, you know, he's one of the great things he did was the, uh, the Intercontinental Railroad, right? Well, before he was uh, president, he was an attorney for the railroads, which was like big tech of the day, right? So, you know, and the, the, the railroads go woo, woo, up and down because they, he, uh, Lincoln made a, signed a deal that the uh, railroad construction companies with their federal contracts were paid by the mile. So they curved the Intercontinental Railroad. It's not a straight shot. It curves because they were paid by the mile. That's corruption on Lincoln's part. And we have the, the most saintly, honest man ever to be president, Donald Trump, right? Doesn't even jaywalk. They accuse him of all these things, which were total bull crap. And then we've got this guy, Joe Biden, uh, who's the most corrupt man ever to be president of the United States. Most corrupt. There's, there's just no, there is no way in hell someone has done the things that are detailed in Miranda Devine's book. There's just, there's just no way. If you're new to my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe. Everybody like the video. And if you don't, make sure you have the uh, notification uh, bell clicked if you don't already. And if you think you do, get to double check it. I'm not usually uh, live streaming at rest stops on the Turnpike here in Florida. You, I have a podcast that I upload to my channel. I um, am also live on the radio every weekday morning from 6 till 9 a.m. And I live stream when I'm on the radio. But uh, I do random streams like this, uh, usually on Saturdays. Um, this one was just... Whew. I'm, I'm almost afraid to go through the rest of the book and what's going to come up next in this book. It is so chilling. And uh, Miranda Devine deserves... A, uh, what, what's the biggest award they give to um, book writers? I mean, and this book is, is definitely cross-genre. It's a steamy sex book. It's a true crime book. It's a political thriller it's, it's, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know how, how many genres does Laptop from Hell cross into. You know, I mean, it's pornography. You know, Pulitzer. I don't, they give the Pulitzers to um, journalists like newspaper writers and TV people. The Nobel Peace Prize. I don't know. What's the biggest book award there is? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Do you get a Pulitzer for books? Well, whatever it is, they're not going to give it to her because it's a real book with real stuff in it. Not these fantasies that these liars wrote about President Trump, like the Woodward books and, and things like that. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm curious to hear what you all think about the book. So if you guys do get the book over the weekend or, or listen to the Audible book, make sure you call me on the radio uh, Monday. I'd love to hear your, um, your thoughts. Oh, Toys for Tots. That's an awesome thing that the Marines do. The Dr. Seuss Award. Yes. Yes, I'm in. Well, actually, I'm in my wife's car. Uh, not my car. This is my wife's car. <laughs> Nobel Prize for Literature. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this. if you, if you had Miranda Devine's book, Laptop from Hell, and, and you were in a bookstore, think it, it, this book could be in every section in the book almost. You know? of the bookstore <clears throat> yeah yeah we, we we've got um don corleone and uh you know running the country here that's basically it you have two hours late. Yeah, it is you know drake it is really it's it and I, I i i don't enjoy hearing this you know i remember when these slanderous books came out of of our great president donald trump liberals like save it oh it's so exciting we're so excited to read. You know, they were, they were like jazzed up on it. This book doesn't make me happy to read. It scares the daylights out of me because this crook and his mob family and his and his insane son that has more... I, it, Hunter has so many addictions. He's invented new addictions, right? 
um, it, are running the country and the world, and they're cracking down on our lives. You now, none of these people are going to go to jail, Rocco. So if that's your standard, you'll have interest in nothing. Democrats don't go to jail; only Republicans go to jail. Oh man, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm pretty far from home. Uh, yeah, my wife is still sleeping because she's not here. But uh, I'm heading to Orlando today. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Now, Peter Ducey should start asking Jin Saki about uh, things that are in this book. That would, you know, I. Uh, ordered the, you know, I usually, you know, I, I, I wear, when I'm driving, you know, I wear Ray-Bans, but the sun's not out yet. And I saw these sunglasses on TV, these as seen on TV, they're super cheap. You're supposed to be able to see at night and in the rain. Let me, and uh, I, I must tell you, these, these, these strange glasses, they actually work. Have you seen the ads for these on TV? I saw them in my, and I told him, I said, order those glasses. So they, it was like, we got two of them. This is also not a sponsorship, by the way. But these glasses, they look ridiculous. So I, I, I'm going to stick to my Ray-Bans, but they actually do work in the dark. I'm driving at night. I can see the road better, you know. So, but it's, They don't look cool, though. I like my Ray-Bans. And, of course, these are the best. Doesn't get better than these. I, I, do I have enough sunglasses in here? I've got three pairs of sunglasses. These are the best. These are the best. But you can't drive in these because they're um, they're hard to see out of. You know when you're driving. But uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. President Trump. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, listen. I'm going to take off because I'm only halfway, so I got to I got to get to where I'm going. But uh, if you are new, make sure you subscribe, and uh, everyone, let me know in the comments what you think about this Miranda Divine book. And I'll just say one last thing: um, everyone should get this book. It is not a sponsorship. Uh, I recommend the Audible uh, version, um, which is what I'm listening to in the car here. It will blow your mind. Now make sure you like the video. And again, if you're new, subscribe. Take care. Thanks for watching.